Are you wondering how to make digital downloads for Etsy? If you're an Etsy beginner, this is for you. Hey, I'm Lauren Keyes, and in this video, I'm going to share with you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make digital downloads in Canva for Etsy. I will show you how to create a Facebook cover template. Now, whether you plan on selling Facebook cover templates or not, what I share with you in this video will be an important foundation for all your creations that you make in Canva to sell on Etsy, especially if you want to sell Canva templates. So once you've logged into your Canva account, just head up to the top right hand corner, click on create a design. Canva will have a bunch of suggested uh, sizes and designs for you to use. Uh, we're going to click on Facebook cover because we're going to create a Facebook cover template for today's video. I will be creating this template design from scratch. As you can see on the left hand side here, these are Can Canva's pre-made templates. And before we move on, I actually want to clarify and clear up something because some people are a little bit confused as to whether they can use Canva's pre-made templates, uh, make changes to them and then sell them as their designs. And I reached out to Canva personally and this was their response. Our templates are useful for small and personal projects. You can also use them for inspiration, a starting point for your own unique design. As a best practice, we recommend that if users want to create designs for commercial purposes, it is best to start from scratch rather than from a Canva template. So I'm having a look here and this one is standing out to me here, the lady in the, uh, in the circle there. So I'm going to use that as inspiration. So the first thing I would do is I would go and find a frame to use for um, an image. So we head over to elements here. And if you scroll down, we've got frames here. I'm going to use that circle frame and I want to insert an image um, of a healthy lady who's into, you know, like fitness and wellness, because this is going to be a template for a wellness coach so you would search for you could say a wellness lady and you'd come here to photos and you would pick something that would be free so a lot of these here are pro pro content as you can see with the little crown here but pretty much whatever kind of image you're looking for, you just type it into uh, the tab bar up here and it will give you a bunch of things to choose from. I actually already have an image I want to use. So I'm just going to grab that one. So it's as simple as just dropping the image into the frame. So let's change the background color. So to do that, we head over here where it says background color. And I'm actually going to use a color that Canva has just generated automatically from the colors on the photo here. So I'm going to choose that one there. Now let's add some text. So we head over to the left hand side text, click on add a heading. I'm going to change the font. So I just highlight it. Head over up here where the list of fonts are and you can search through, see which fonts you like. I always like to use free fonts as well. I like this one here. Perfect. And I'm going to change the color of it. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to highlight it, head back over up here to text color. And then I'm going to change it to this dark gray color. I want to add some more text. So I'm going to go back here, add a heading. Now I'm going to add in some social media logos. So I'm going to search for an Instagram logo. Graphics, see all, and I'm going to choose one that's free. So this one here is free. Going to add in some more text for the Instagram handle. And I'm just going to duplicate this bit of text here so we can add an area for um, the buyer, the, the customer to put their website. 
Now let's add in some graphics just so it's not so plain. So we go to elements again. I'm going to type in flowers. Graphics, see all. I'm going to once again look for some free graphics. So pretty much any time you are looking for uh, something that you want to add to your design, you're just always going over to elements to the left hand side here and you're typing in that very thing. So I am liking this little picture of a leaf here. It's free, as you can see, because there's no crown mark on it. So I highly suggest that you um, always use free images and free um, you know, graphics in your designs. Change the color of that. And I'm just going to duplicate this. Now that right there, uh, you could use that, sell that as it is that template. You could add more elements into it. You could add a background into it. You can do whatever else you want to it. Um, I think that looks okay. It's pretty minimalistic. So for the purpose of this video, let's just leave it at that. So once you're happy with your design, you then, and this is for all templates, not just what I'm showing you. If you want to sell uh, Canva templates on Etsy, this whole process applies to you as well. So once you're happy with your design, you head up here to share and then you head down here to template link. If you don't see that this option here, you need to go down to more and it will be in there. Okay. So Canvas generated you a template link. You just hit copy. And then what you need to do is you need to paste that link into a file that's going to get uploaded into Etsy. So I created this quick little PDF file here um, just to show you uh, the structure of, you know, what I think is good to have in this, uh, this PDF file. Pretty much just something that says thank you or you could have your branding name up here and then just a little message thanking them for their purchase. Add in some extra information such as you will need to have a um, Canva account to access these templates, etc. And then you want to have an area for them to click on to um, that will take them to that Canva link. So you need to highlight the text in here, click on link and then you will need to paste in that link. Now. You can also have your social media um, links in here as well. So you can add an area at the bottom there. These are also clickable as well. So you can add a link to these as well by simply highlighting it, clicking on the three dots and then link and then add in your social media link there. Now, once you're happy with this, you need to download this. So we head up to share, download. And I always like to download as a PDF standard, best for documents and emailing because there is that link in there. Once you've downloaded this and you've actually checked the links work, then you can upload it into Etsy. So this is what it's going to look like on the customer's end. They're going to download it and it says, click. Here's the link to click the template. They'll click on the template. And then this is what it's going to come up with um, on their end. So now I'm going to show you where to upload this PDF file inside your Etsy shop. And my apologies for the volume being really low in this part of the video. So once you're in your shop manager and you've clicked on create a new listing, you will be brought to this page. Well, actually, maybe you might not be because you might be using the new version. I have actually switched back to the old original listing version because it's so much easier. That's why it says up here, you're using the old listing form. So for this video, we're going to do this through the old listing form. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to go through everything really, um, really quickly just to show you um, where you need to upload that PDF file. So I'm just going to like add in random stuff here. Okay. So I'm just going to add in this photo here. So you want to add up to, um, you want to try and make use of all the um, space that you have available to actually show your product. So you can add up to, I think it's 10 images there. So I highly recommend you use all 10 images. Uh, 
what an awesome picture. I actually made this with AI and I'm just like pretty impressed with it. It's pretty cool, hey? Anyway, back on track. Adding a video, I highly recommend that you add a video. I add videos to all my listings. Your title, you want to have good title with some good keywords in there. About this listing, who made it, I did. What is it? It's a finished product. When did I make it? I made it recently. The category is uh, templates. So you want to have it in templates, design and templates. Renewal options. I highly recommend you keep it on automatic. The type of product, you need to click on digital because it's a digital file. Uh, this is the description area here. Uh, make sure that's really thorough and you have some keywords in there. Uh, the section would be if you have certain sections to your shop, you can add that in there. The area for tags here, this is where you will add um, other, other tags and words that will help people find your listing. Uh, the price, you want to have a good price there. Most of my stuff is priced between $19, $20. Quantity, I always have, I always do it at $9.99. I don't know why, I just do. Um, and digital files. So this is the area where you need to upload that PDF file that has the Canva link in there. So we click on upload and you go find that file. And there you have it. That PDF file with the Canva link is now uploaded to this. Once you're happy with everything, you want to go and click either um, save so you can finish editing it or if you're happy with it, you can hit publish, which is down the bottom here, but you can't see it because I've got some stuff in the way there. Um, also, I want to just share this bit down here. It says marketing. Etsy will automatically um, advertise your listing. So if you don't want to pay for ads, you need to click maybe later. You've got to be careful with that because I've gone and uploaded stuff and I'm grateful that the ads work. But I was like, I don't I don't want to pay for ads right now. So yeah, maybe later. If you want to learn more about selling on Etsy, check out these videos here. And if you love this video, hit that like button and subscribe.